San Francisco is queer mecca. People come here because they know it's the underbelly that surfaces and sets a trend for a nation. And this club is allowing that expression, drag as a cultural uh, queer art form. It's just a traditional art form passed down from mother to daughter. And it's helping to set a precedent of what's going on in performance, how drag queens are addressing social issues um, in, in this art form. RuPaul brought it to uh, the mainstream and people really want to see what it's like. Yeah, definitely. It's more of a Disneyfication of drag, what appears on television, and that what happens in clubs is a lot edgier, it's a lot more risque. San Francisco specifically, there's a lot more performance art involved in drag. It's not just about being pretty, it's about pushing gender boundaries, making social commentary. I know there's lots of people out there who are curious, would just love to come here. Yeah, I, I think that one thing that's really fantastic about the drag scene overall here is there's so many opportunities for girls to get involved. There's so many people that are willing to share their tricks of the trade, oh, yeah. to help with makeup tricks, with tri uh, tricks, to help with hair. It's a great community. It's not just a scene and it's not just a nightlife. These are people that are finding their chosen family. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to fantasize. You can actually come down here and meet people and get into it. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of really fantastic people that are all contributing to what's going on right now.